The Life and Sad Ending Cherie Curry Cherie Curry was born Cherie Ann Curry on November 30, 1959, in Encino, California, with three siblings, an identical twin sister, Marie Curry, an elder sister, actress Sandra Curry, and a brother, Don Curry Jr. Curry and her twin sister were given a role on an episode of My Three Sons at the age of two. They were going to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star with Fred McMurray but they froze during filming and their part was cut from the show. Before Curry and her twin sister rose to fame, they danced on American Bandstand. They appeared on the show as background dancers. Curry was the teenage lead vocalist for the all-female rock band The Runaways with bandmates Joan Jett, Lita Ford, Sandy West, Jackie Fox, and Vicky Blue. Bump magazine described her as the lost daughter of Iggy Pop and Bridget Bardot. Curry joined the Runaways in 1975, at age 15. The teen rock anthem Cherry Bomb was written for her at the audition. Assessments of her impact differ. One reviewer has written in 2010 that the received wisdom that carved out new territory for female musicians is hard to justify. It's doubtful that the predominantly male audience who flocked to see the 16 year old in her undies picked up any feminist subtext. After three albums with The Runaways, Curry went on to be a solo artist. She signed a contract with Mercury saying she would record four records, but she left The Runaways after the third album, thus she was obligated to record another album. She recorded it solo and the result was Beauty's Only Skin Deep for Polygram Records. Marie Curie did a duet with Cherie on her solo record Love at First Sight. Cherie and Marie went on a U.S. tour in 1977, and when Marie would join Cherie on stage to sing the encores the audience would go wild. Then they went on a Japan tour in 1978. While in Japan, the twins performed on many TV shows. So Cherie ran with the idea of two blondes are better than one, and changed the band name from Cherie Curry to Cherie and Marie Curry. With Marie Curry, she recorded Messin with the Boys for Capitol Records and Young and Wild for Raven. Messin with the Boys was released in 1980. Messin with the Boys received more radio play than Beauty's Only Skin Deep and the song Since You've Been Gone Off Messin with the Boys charted number 95 on U.S. charts. Both the single This Time and the album Messin with the Boys made the top 200 on U.S. charts. Cherie and Marie performed on television shows in the 1980s including Sha Na Na, The Mike Douglas Show, The Merv Griffin Show among others. Along with the album recordings with Marie, Cherie and Marie sang, wrote, and produced songs for the Rosebud Beach Hotel and its soundtrack called the Rosebud Beach Hotel Soundtrack. In the film, they acted and sang together. In 1991, Cherie and Marie Curie performed a tribute concert to Paula Pierce, a member of the Pandoras, at the Coconut Teaser. For the final performance, the remaining Pandoras backed the Curries. Curie performed at the Runaways reunion in 1994 with other Runaways Fox and West. Her sister Marie joined the three Runaways on stage and performed with the band. In 1998, Cherie and Marie held a concert at the Golden Apple, in support of their re-released version of Messin with the Boys. Cherie's ex-bandmate West joined Cherie on stage to perform some of the Runaways songs. The Currys and West signed autographs after the show. Young and Wild were released in 1998. It was Cherie and Mary's first compilation album. It contains tracks from Beauty's Only Skin Deep, Messin' with the Boys, Flaming School Girls, and one new track co-written by Marie. In 1999 Rocket City Records released Curry's studio album The 80s Collection. The album contains guest work by Marie Curry. Cherie starred in the film Foxes in 1980 with Jodie Foster. She received strong reviews for her acting debut, and because of this film, she received many roles in other films. 
Along with starring in Foxes, she starred in Parasite, Wavelength, Twilight Zone, The Movie, The Rosebud Beach Hotel, Rich Girl, and others, as well as numerous guest spots on television series. In 1984 Curry was cast as Brenda in Savage Streets, but was replaced by Linda Blair. In the same year, Curry was cast as the lead singer of the fictional band Dose in the film This Is Spinal Tap, but her character was cut out of the film. Cherie was considered for a part in the 1985 film Explorers but, according to her autobiography, she was in the throes of drug dependency and couldn't even make it to a meeting. In 2019, Curry's album Boulevards of Splendor was released on April 13. On August 2, The Motivator, her album with Brie Darling, was released. In 2020 Cherie Curry released an audio version of her memoir, Neon Angel. Her audio version of her book reached number one on Amazon's Best Biographies of Punk Rock Musician. In the same year, Curry contributed her vocals to the song Flatten the Curve for the band FTC. Curry is now a wood carving artist, using a chainsaw to create her works. She has been doing chainsaw art since 2002 and opened her own gallery in 2005 in Chatsworth, California. As a chainsaw artist, Curry has competed in and won awards at three world chainsaw art competitions. Curry struggled with drug addiction for much of her younger life, a major factor in the abrupt ending of her career. She later wrote a memoir, Neon Angel, recounting life in the band and her traumatic experiences with drug addiction, sex abuse, and her broken family. The Runaways, a 2010 biographical drama film executive produced by Joan Jett, focuses on the group's beginnings and explores the relationship between Curry and Jett. Dakota Fanning portrays Curry. Curry married actor Robert Hayes on May 12, 1990, and they had one son together, Jake Hayes. The marriage ended in divorce in 1997. Jake Hayes learned to play guitar well enough to be included in recent recording sessions, and as a member of Curry's new touring band. In 1979 an alternative cover photo of Curry's album, Beauty's Only Skin Deep, appears in the background of the film Rock and Roll High School. It appears when the Ramones are backstage. The sisters Dot, Helen, and Darby are characters in the 1997 film Gummo, written and directed by Harmony Corrine, who has mentioned that Dot and Helen were based off a combination of Cherie and Marie Curry, homeschooling, and the Shags. In 2006 the teen drama The O.C., in the season 3 episode The Man of the Year, Marissa makes an entrance to Cherry Bomb, while dressed in a provocative schoolgirl outfit, to Caitlin's boarding school. She pays tribute to Curry because when Curry sang Cherry Bomb Live she wore a provocative outfit. <laughs>